Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis with our Earth playthrough here, episode 2 with the series. Left off last time, we were trying to balance the budget here. I went ahead and spent some Genesis points to get us another million. Um, after kind of looking at everything uh, between episodes, I decided that there is literally no way that we're going to be able to balance the budget without uh, throwing Genesis points at the problem. Maybe that's what the game developers intended, doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we do everything we can to try and turn things around before it gets so bad that it's not uh, replaceable. Doesn't mean that Earth might not collapse. We might still have an issue with it. Might completely lose the biosphere, have to rebuild a lot of this. It's hard to say, but we're going to have to find out. So we'll go ahead and... Yeah, I don't, I don't want uh, to do that. So we're going to go back to our mine here. A lot of these can be upgraded. So we could actually upgrade this. Like 60,000 credits isn't that much to get the additional 8,000. We can even upgrade this more and get 10,000. 90,000, that'll give us 12,000. There's a couple other here we could upgrade. Let's do this because they're, they're so cheap. And then, even then, it's only plus 14,000. It At this point, it's about building enough mines that you can float your economy and have a surplus. And then from there, as long as you get the surplus, you can kind of roll with it, right? That's really what it's about. Oh, I, did I just take... Genesis points to build that. Yikes. Do I not have the... I do have money. Okay, so... All right, that puts us at 20,000. Let's take a look at our economy again and our money. 469,000 left over. As long as we've slowed down it, it at least some. Minus 12,000. That local music genre really helped out. If we can get another random event for that, it'd be wonderful. Still, though, very much in the negatives. Let's go ahead and go to research here. We've got 464,000. Ah, we're not going to be spending anything on research then, actually, but I might be able to get another cooling plant. Now, the cooling plants, I think my other one's still building because I jumped right into the next game here. North America. And it's got 23 minutes left. I have enough to build another cooling plant, so let's go ahead and get that started. Um, that will at least get me at minus 8 heat. And if I upgrade one of them, that'll be minus 10. So it should cancel my heat out. Look at the population grow. It just outruns you. Almost wouldn't be a bad thing if we had a couple uh, of the population, if some of the population die off a bit. Oh, I can actually watch an ad and get the additional 200% increase uh, as well. That'll actually probably put us in the in the positives. I don't want to watch an ad though while I'm recording, but when I'm done recording, I'll go ahead and watch one. We'll see if that gets us in the positives. Um, it definitely should. I don't see why it wouldn't. Okay, so we got 202,000. I'm going to dro drop the rest of them in into Unity here because uh, I don't dare. It could take a while to get up to uh, United, so I don't dare waste anymore i mean it wouldn't be a waste to get the financial growth but it's look at 8 billion population to get another culture point it's gonna take a lot to get culture points it's gonna take a lot of random events to get paul culture points a hit mute musical has been released which portrays western europe as a sexy vibrant exciting city full of thrilling adventure and exotic romance people have begun flocking to earth in the hope of capturing this dream for themselves resulting in a minor population boom for western europe that's what we don't need we don't need a minor population boom boom what we need is we need money. We need a lot of it and we need it quick. But uh, no matter. Go ahead real quick. So I guess we got 193,000. We could just dump the rest of it into Rusty Bellows. If I increase plus 20% there, we should be able to keep all of this going. Now, these deplete one day. This one depletes in 18 hours. So that's the biggest thing too. You got to remember when you upgrade your mines, you're pumping more out of them. But you got to maintain them faster because in 22 hours, I'm going to be back here rebuilding all this. Now, it won't be so bad. Hopefully, by then, we'll have increased, uh, we'll have enough income that I'll um, be able to get a second outpost up and then be able to build as more mines as well, right? So, we've already got up to silver and we can hopefully do some silver in the second outpost. This one also had a really, really good silver mine, which we can keep exploiting. So, that'll be extremely useful. 
Uh, but we won't have the ability to make anything else for quite some time. Uh, by anything else, I mean um, any other uh, outposts after that, after the second one we get. Let's see, so plus 10. We'll be able to cancel that. Uh, I could rush those, uh, spend the Genesis points. It might not be a bad idea. Oxygen's already getting out of control, so we're going to need to hurry up and research something to fix oxygen. What a mess. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rush those so I can at least uh, stabilize heat. That will should help with water as well. So it's only going to cost us two Genesis points for each of these. And that's going to put us at plus two. And if we upgrade one of these, that'll zero it out. So that'll save Earth from at least the temperature increase for now. But plus two is not so bad. So we've already managed to kind of turn it around. Now what we'll do once we get this to zero, as soon as we get this to zero, we will build a cooling plant, a minus four cooling plant. We'll go back down to 287,000 and then we'll stop that and that'll be fixed. The next thing we're going to have to worry about uh, is maybe building something to fix pressure a little bit, but it's going to be oxygen. Oxygen is going to be the next big thing for us. Oxygen's pretty bad. See, already by lowering the temperature, we've managed to lower the water table uh, that's increasing as well. Yeah, oxygen, though, that's going to be what kills us, actually, if we don't get that under control. Negative 11,000. Whew. So once we get this down to zero, the water should stop. Then it's just going to be oxygen. Nice. Once we get oxygen stabilized, we should be pretty good. Then it's just going to be trying to get the economy stabilized. So it's going to take us a little bit. We should be able to get it, though. Genesis points definitely make it a little bit easier. But these are Genesis points. You actually start with, if you didn't know this, by the way, I didn't mention it in the last episode. When you play as Earth, you automatically start with 20 Genesis points. You actually start with them. They give you 20 Genesis points to play Earth. That's because you cannot play Earth without spending Genesis points. I want to make that very clear for anybody watching. You cannot play Earth without Genesis points. You'll run out of money too quickly. You have to spend your Genesis points. How you spend them is what's going to be the deciding factor on whether you beat Earth or not in the game. But you have to spend them. Remember, the game's not over even if we stabilize the planet. If we stabilize the planet, we still have to get unity. You still have to get, we're only at 5% victory. You have to get 100% unity. So even if we stabilize everything, we've still got to increase our population. Once we start increasing our population, things are going to get unstable again. We're going to get random events that are going to increase heat. We're going to get random events that are going to increase pressure. We're going to get asteroids. So we're, not, we're not even close to victory. So very first thing is Earth stabilize the planet once the planet's stabilized and once the then you focus on the economy once the economy is good and you got the economy going then you got to focus on population and getting those culture points that's why i really hated to spend those two culture points on increasing wealth but we had to do it we we the game's already over if we don't increase our wealth if we can't get any money the game's over before it even started so even though that was five, four culture points for us here, we'll just have to rely on getting the population to 8 billion and we'll have to rely on getting random events and such to try to increase our culture points. So we'll see where that goes. But we needed the financial growth. It was pretty important. Either way, we're going to go ahead and end it off here anyway since we're out of time and we're kind of waiting for things, things to tick through. I'll probably watch a uh, short ad here so I can get the plus... 200% uh, increase to our income that should put us in the positives for a bit hopefully I'll be able to rack up enough income and I'll be able to uh, get this in the positives without needing those modifiers by building outposts and more mines it's going to be really tricky but I think that we can pull it off the economy is definitely going to be the hardest part we'll see where it goes but I won't do any of that until the next episode so I want to thank you all for joining me I do hope that you've enjoyed it look forward to seeing you next time Thank you.